All right, so this is going to be how to 3D print your bridge using MakerBot Desktop. Now I'm just going to go through this real quick because we are probably getting new 3D printers in the next week or two. But anyway, so if we have our bridge like this, we have to actually print it in separate parts because if we don't, just because of the unique way that bridges are designed and the way 3D printers work, you have all this extra stuff in here which is just a uh, waste of material, waste of time, doesn't look very good. So we're actually going to print all of our parts separately. So you have your each piece over here. What you have to do to get this file over into MakerBot is you have to save it as an STL file. So you, what you do is you open up each of your pieces, go to File, Export, CAD Format, and then this drop down right here, you drop it down all the way to STL, which is a stereolithography file, and you save that. You can open a program called MakerBot Desktop. And very first time you open it, you'll get a screen that looks like this. It wants you to sign in or create an account. You don't have to do either one. What you do is go up to the top and hit prepare. Very first thing is you want to give it, tell it what 3D printer we're using. So click on device, select type of device, and we have a replicator 2x. To add the part file, we go to add file and find that STL. So this is my bridge side. Open. Now when you open it up, you'll notice it's very small. MakerBot works in millimeters, and we did our project in inches. So if that's 10 inches on our actual bridge, this right here is 10 millimeters. So what we want to do is we want to make it half the size of real life. So we're going to make it 5 inches long, which is 127 millimeters. So I click on my piece, make sure it's highlighted. Over here on the left, I have this scale button. And I have this rotate button. If you put it in and it was upright like that, if you got these plus and minus 90s, you can shift it around and hit lay flat to make sure it's flat on our table. And we want to scale it. So we want to take our longest side. We wanted to make that 5 inches, which we just found out was 127. You have this box right here check marked. So when I hit enter, it scales it up proportionally. Now since this is half size, another thing we're going to do, because if that's one eighth of an inch originally, that's only a sixteenth of an inch, which is really skinny. So I'm actually going to take, uncheck this, take my Z, and let's make that twice as large. So let's take 1.6, let's change that to 3.2. So it's going to be a little bit thicker, but the rest of my dimensions are all the same. Now it looks like we're about ready to print, so we're going to change a few settings first. So under settings, for this project let's turn the raft off, the support off. We're using a right extruder for PLA. Change our right extruder temperature to 220. We're not using the left extruder, so zero, and our platform is 80 degrees Celsius. And then hit OK. Go up to preview to see what it's going to look like. And I can see layer by layer, it's going to take about 16 minutes. And I can see layer by layer how it's going to be building it up. When I'm ready to go, I hit export. And I grab a SD card and the SD card reader. Because these two machines are not hooked up directly to computers, you have to use an SD card. So when I plug that into my computer, I should get USB drive. So you want to put your name, bridge, side, and it's going to be an X3G file. You hit save. So now that 
file is on the SD card and we're ready to take that over to the 3D printer. So you're going to do that for each piece. So once for the top, one for the side, one for the bottom. So again, back in Inventor, File, Export, CAD Format, STL File, Save, over here in MakerBot, Add File, STL, Open, Oop, wrong one, Add Fusion. So you see this one's upright, so I want to lay it down, hit this rotate button, lay flat, so it's flat on the table, 